So kind of give you some background on what motivated our research is that we see an inconsistent pattern in association between different mar biomarkers of glycemia and prostate cancer incidence and mortality. And so what we wanted to do was inco incorporate several different biomarkers of glycemia to better define normal glycemia as well as hyperglycemia and see what these patterns look like for prostate cancer mortality. So it, we started by looking in a prospective epidemiologic cohort called the Atherosclerosis Risk and Communities Study, which started in 1987, and the investigators had followed participants for close to 30 years and had collected health data on participants during this time. And so in our analysis, we limited to roughly 5,000 men, and what we found was that in men that were, had high glycemia on three different biomarkers had close to a five-fold increased risk of dying from prostate cancer compared to men that were normal on the same three biomarkers. And these pa this pattern of elevated risk with higher glycemia was consistent in both African-American men as well as Caucasian men. So we looked at traditional biomarkers of fasting glucose as well as hemoglobin A1C, and then we had access to an additional marker called glycated albumin, which is currently under investigation in the U.S. as a marker to measure glycemic control and to monitor diabetes. Right, so, so as I mentioned earlier, you know, across uh, levels of elevated glycemia defined by these categories based on these three markers, we saw a consistent pattern of elevated risk with, if you're high on all three markers, as I said, it was close to a five-fold increased risk that was statistically significant, whereas if you were high on two markers, that was close to about two and a half times increased risk, although that one was not statistically significant. And then if you were high on just one marker, that was above a threefold increased risk, which was, I believe was statistically significant. And we also saw an elevated risk close to a threefold increased risk among people who were low on um, at least one of these markers compared to uh, the normal group. But in this low group, that was not statistically significant. And then for people with diagnosed di diabetes who were classified separately, uh, we saw close an elevated risk as well that was uh, not statistically significant. So the take home here really is that the, the importance of good glycemic control. Regardless, we know that glycemia is an important risk factor for many diseases besides cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and so this really drives home the point of having good glycemic control.